Hey everyone, I'm Paul Malin and here we are at Mantova for the official media test of Yamaha Monster Energy's factory bikes. There are 12 journalists from seven different countries and each of us has the unique opportunity to ride the bikes of Gautier Paulin and David Philippartz, who of course get to race these bikes every single weekend. Are we excited? Of course we are. I think it's time I went and got my kit on, don't you? I'll see you in a minute. As you know, we're here testing the YZ250 FM race machine, full factory bike, but how do we go from the production machine here to the race going version to my left? Well, looking at it completely different, as you can see, we've got a lot of carbon fiber parts, the fuel tank, the skid plate, and also the subframe. The internals of the engine cylinder are different as well, different valves, springs, cams, that kind of thing, and a different exhaust pipe system. And if you're wondering what the big O's are, here on the front of the fork legs, full factory Olin suspension. You cannot buy these items at all. That's how special these bikes are. Well, I've just had a, quite a good ride actually on the 250 of Gautier Paulin. Um, Yamaha is normally quite a big bike, but this feels nice and compact, which is nice, which is what I like. You can really get into the corners and the turns and uh, yeah, really good, good strong motor. Um, difficult to say about the suspension because the track isn't as bumpy as uh, maybe we'd like, but I did over jump one of the tabletops and the front fork, the Olin's was uh, really nice, soaked it all up, so uh, no problems. Can't wait to get on the 450 now. The YZ450 FM was a completely new bike for 2010 and so getting the factory bike to work in 2010 was quite a difficult task just because it was a brand new bike. We're talking new chassis, we had the reverse facing cylinder and of course the EFI, the fuel injection system. David Philippart so did take this to a Grand Prix victory in France this year so the bike has already proven itself on the world stage. As far as going from standard to factory a lot of standard parts remain on this. There's only one or two internal changes on the exhaust system and of course on the, uh, on the engine. But of course, again, littered with factory owning suspension. This 2010 model, which is a complete new chassis, actually gets into and around the corners um, better than the, the 2009 version. So, you know, that is a massive plus. And the power on this bike also is, uh, is really easy to use. They've got a, a switch here, map one and map two. The first one they use uh, when they want the power more aggressive. Uh, the second one, obviously the opposite, a little bit smoother. That's what I rode in uh, all day today because I like an engine that's really nice and smooth, especially uh, nowadays anyway. But, um, but yeah, it just makes it so much easier to ride and, and everything about the bike is great. I'm going down here at Mantova and I've got to say I've really enjoyed my riding here today. Both the factory bikes are incredible to ride. But the big surprise for me, probably, David Philippart's YZ450 FM. We had a great chassis on the 2010 factory bike. Good spread of power, easy to use, very smooth. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, like I say, just enjoyed riding this bike completely. And I can't wait to ride the 2011 bike. So we'll see you next year.